Hey, I quickly wanted to show you um, how I went about using Parabola to send a CSV to Xano. Uh, since you're doing the same thing, you probably accomplish the same thing with tools like Automate, I.O., and uh, like Integramat. Um, however, let's go ahead and start looking at these examples. So in Parabola, I guess this, this stuff is called flows. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using a CSV file from my computer. Uh, sending it to my Xano API. Um, so I just found this sample CSV file online. It's um, statistics for Major League Baseball teams in 2012. It's just the team name. Uh, looks like we have a payroll in millions, wins, and then for some reason we have a um, blank record at the bottom, it looks like. But anyways, it looks like we have 31 rows, um, three columns. Um, so... The first thing I did in Xano was I made a table with the schema to accept this. So I've got team, uh, payroll, millions, and wins. Okay. Um, and actually the first thing I went about doing to test this was I actually went to um, webhook.site. If you go to webhook.site, you can actually um, use this unique URL. Um, put it in the send API to see actually the uh, records that they're sending. So you can see that Parabola is sending one row at a time, and you can see the uh, raw content here. So you can see the team, you can see the key, and the value pair uh, that it's sending. So that's just helpful to know how to um, set up the endpoint in Xano uh, that we're going uh, to use. So um, let's go back to Xano and let's look at the API endpoint I created. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually using this get all input um, function here. So I don't actually have to uh, define the inputs here. And uh, the main reason I'm doing that is because um, for this particular one, if you notice, um, payrolls has a little bit weird of a format. There's a space in here, there's parentheses. Um, so I wanna be able to capture that. And this variable lets us capture all the inputs and then we can traverse through whatever path. So if you have things nested, you can use dot notation or the get filter um, to actually get the path. So now that we have this uh, get all input, I'm doing an add record. And so for each field, I am calling the variable first and using dot notation. And I need to have the exact um, path here that Parabola is sending me. So even though my team field has a lowercase here, uh, on the what Parabola is sending me is with the uppercase. Payroll millions has, um, notice in my database, it's payroll underscore millions, all lowercase. In Parabola, it's payroll um, space in the parentheses millions. And then here it wins uppercase where mine is lowercase. So just make sure to map this correctly. If it's nested, you're gonna need more than one path, more than one dot notation. I don't need to do a loop here because it looks like Parabola is sending us one record at a time. Um, so that's perfectly fine as is. So now that we've created this endpoint, I can just simply grab this endpoint URL, copy it to my clipboard, come back to Parabola. We use this send API. And so let's go ahead and um, actually take a look here. Let me hit edit flow so I can click in here. And so the request type, make sure it, um, it's a post because we're adding records. You paste in that endpoint URL right here. And then for the request body, um, so this is how I formatted it. So we have our um, object brackets here. We have our team in uh, quotation marks, semicolon. And then uh, Parabola tells us that these little brackets here uh, make values dynamic. So I'm just putting in the actual uh, field name, this column header here, for each of the values, okay? So pretty straightforward. Um, so that's really all we need to do in this example here. So I'll just hit update live version. Um, so yeah, now we're ready to actually run the flow. So I can go ahead and hit run now. And this might take um, 
30 seconds or so, just depending on how fast Parabola actually runs this. Looks like my last one did 38. Okay, so now it said that succeeded after 30 seconds. So we jump to our database, um, go to our MLB table, and we have all of our records, all 31 of them. So everything uh, mapped up accordingly. And um, yeah, I hope that's helpful and uh, helps clear things up for you. Um, you know, obviously I'm not a Parabola expert, so more Parabola questions I would ask you to probably use their support, but I hope this video um, is helpful for you.